Yep. After having me last two weeks basically straight of work, I've finally been rewarded for my labors for getting some days off. Five days off. Mini vacation. Anyway, Mr. Man here. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a direct reference to Tokyo Ghoul with my finger cracking. I started watching that. It's, it's, I got, I got, Brute A, gotta watch next. Eh. Not really, not really too thrilled about it, but, you know, maybe, maybe Brute A will be better, hopefully. Anyway, today's been pretty good. Um, I mean, it's only, what is it, 10.30 in the morning? I'm, I'm tired, but, because I was out in night hiking with my brothers last night, which was awesome. It was, it was pretty fun. We had a moment that was like video game, video game-ish-esque, like horror game. Um, and, and that's why today's been pretty fun, because, uh. This came out today. It's actually still shrink wrapped. I just got back with it. We're actually gonna open it up and install it. Because why? Why else do you watch Mr. Man's channel? Because we're gonna open it with Microtech LUDT. Because switchblades are legal now. This is like a combination of everything that's cool for the month of October, October. Switchblades, you open two. Mini vacation. What more could you ask for? All right, a girlfriend. Eh, that ain't happening. Look at that. Shrink wrap. Yes. Mm. Just throw it down there. Mmm. Smell that. I'm gonna take these gloves off in this hat. It's getting a little warm. A little warm down here. This is this is all Mr. Man's structure. Wolfenstein 2, the new colossal s yeah, prey. Mmm. Prey. Bought that in release day too. Oh, yeah, they actually have controls. That's cool. Normally don't, normally don't include controls and little paper bits and doodads in games nowadays. I am very anticipating this game. Like, very anticipating it. Let's pop the disc in. The PlayStation's right behind you. If I can get it in. Okay, where's the... Oh, you know what? Actually, hold up. Forgot. <laughs> Had a game already in there. What game did I have in there? Yeah, Infinite Warfare. I was playing Call of Duty. As much as I harp on it, I, uh... I was playing a little, little bit of it. It's not. It's yeah. The writing in it's so bad. I mean, like, it's hilarious when you actually replay a Call of Duty game, like after you played good games, and then realize how terrible the writing is. And the acting's good. Like, I don't have a problem with the actors. It's just the writing. Oh my god. Let's pop this disc in here. All right. Let's see what we got here. One of my friends is online. Yeah. He's never, he hasn't been online forever. It's only five star. There we go. Evil Vin 2. Add to downloads. Evil Vin. Oh, come on. Seriously? How big is the patch going to be? 230, 230 megabyte patch. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's turn the screen off so I'm not distracted by it. We'll let that install. Um, someone on here said I should do uh, Let's Plays. I thought about that. I, I have thought about it, but eh, I don't know if that's really, that's really me, my style. My, my style's more, I don't know. And plus, I can't make money off Let's Plays. Well, I probably could, but I, I like the ad revenue. It's, I don't do this for the money, but I like I do like the little bit extra. Um, just because it can kind of fund some of my insane hobbies. And, you know, like, knives can get expensive, and it's nice to have a little little bit of money to take a chunk out of that. Like, you know, the uh, Microtech LEDT, which I do want to do a review on just because. Mm, awesome. But this, you know, it's... Two hundred dollar knife, so you know you're talking about a nice little, nice little chunk of change. You know, most people aren't going to spend that much on a knife, which is understandable. You know, there's no reason to. Um, but that is nothing to do with what we're talking about today. It kind of falls in the same line. We're talking about a lighter, not necessarily the lighter itself, but the insert. This is a. Well, I wonder if I should. Let's get you a call. Yeah, the reflection is going to be annoying. Hang on a second. Let's uh, let's take care of that reflection. Actually, we don't want to put Call of Duty there. Let's take and put Alien Quadrilogy up, and then how about Outlast? There. That works for the month of no or October, don't it? Yeah. All right. So what we got here is well, the Zippo itself. The case is the uh, Tree of Life Zippo. I gotta be careful not to bump everything because everything's gonna go down. She? Maybe? If you can focus. Tree of Life. Cool. It's uh, antique brass. I think it's really cool. Um, but 
This is what we're talking about here. Thunderbird insert. This is actually a double jet, double jet lighter. So you have two burners in there. And it uses butane. Now I, I like Zippos. I, I love the idea of the classic, you know, the little classic Zippo and the, the ping. I can't do this with my jacket sleeves are hitting everything, but that little ping. They're just fun to play with. They're almost like a little they're they're basically not I've turned to my fidget spinner. I mean fidget spinners are uh, oh hang on, actually. High quality mech force delta core. Fidget spinners are fun, but you know, lighters just got that little bit of uh like I'm not a douchebag look to it, you know. I'm not trying to be a uh, hip and just use fi I mean fidget spinners they're kind of meh. But lighters you can kind of flick around and play with and you know they're fun, you can do zippo tricks. But the problem is with the zippos you have your zippo insert, okay? Now the way a normal zippo works is you got a cotton in here, or whatever they call it. It's it's some proprietary thingy. Um, but you fill it up with lighter fluid, like liquid, and then it, it fills up, soaks the cotton, and that comes up through the wick. When you spark this, ooh, that, that was cool on the camera, actually. Flashbang. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. Um, but the lighter fluid, the fumes are actually evaporating off the wick, and it burns, it causes you flame. And then when you close the lid, obviously, it extinguishes it. Um, but the par problem with these is that a, you got to keep them filled with fuel. B, you got to keep your wicks up because the wicks do burn eventually. Um, your flint is going to run out eventually, you know, after sparking it. You can only do that so much time. Ow, that cut in my finger is hurting like crazy. Your flint's going to run out after a while. And so, you know, then you're, then you're SOL. Now, with... Oh, and the other thing, too, is um, because of the way that Zippos work... Let me show you here. Let's get this back in the case. Even when the lid's closed... This isn't airtight, so you're going to be evaporating lighter fluid. And through experience, I found that you can only keep one of these guys filled for about a week or so, at least for me. And then they uh, they kind of all evaporate. But Thunderbird, which is where did, oh, here we go. Vector Thunderbird, butane insert, you can see that, made by Vector. You can look these up on eBay, I think I got it off eBay for like 10 bucks or so. Um, these guys actually... Hey, you're not going to read all this, but the insert, it takes butane, which butane is a pressurized gas, goes right in here, and then when you spark it, which oh, it actually does have some fuel left in it, see, it's basically got a fuel, I'll show you refuel in a second, because I've actually never refueled this, um, but it stores it in a pressurized tank, so, and you can see some of the inner workings there, cool, huh? So, the advantage you have over this, you know, this over a normal insert, is that it's not going to constantly be evaporating. Now, they do make a soft flame one, which when you open the cam up, like when the cam opens up, um, it does start leaking fuel and then you spark it and it will ignite them. Um, so that one, if you open up the lighter, it's gonna start leaking. This one does not because it works with the, you know, it's, it's a jet lighter. So when you spark it, well, okay, now, can you see a little teensy? I don't wanna burn my, see a little spark in the center. That's what ignites your fuel. So when you push down, it starts leaking fuel and then when you click it, it sparks it. So it's much more efficient. And the dual flame, I feel like, is a good good option. I believe they make it single flame, too. But I like the dual flame, you know, personally. But, uh, yeah, and it just slides right in. Right in a normal Zippo case. Fits really well. Haven't had any issues. Doesn't feel like it's too big or too small. It's just the right size. Just slides right in. And obviously, Zippos, when you open them up too much, the uh, the case, the insert does slide up a little bit. But, you know, that's just that's kind of by nature. Normally, when you open it and you light it, that pushes the case back down. Hey, look, it recognizes, well, you can't see it, but it's recognizing his face as a face. There's like the little square in my camera around it. It's like, Sebastian's, I don't know, anyway. Um, let's let's fuel this up and try to blow, oh yeah, quick look at that. Tree alive. Live, that's cool. Little flame down there. I thought it was cool because uh, Darksiders 2, oh look, look at what I picked up. Darksiders 2 Death in the Edition. I have to play through this again because that game is just, it's a religious experience to play through that. Right, like I said, I was out hiking last night, so that's part of the reason why I'm a little bit, a little bit out of energy. Oh, my camera's all wonky. Heh. <laughs> little, little, teensy, teensy bit out of energy. Just a little bit. And I haven't really had caffeine or anything to eat. Oh my god, it's still not, uh. There we go, okay. So, the way you feel these up. I filled up butane lighters before. Oh, by the way, how hard is it to get freaking butane? I tried to find a Zippo or um, Ronson butane. I couldn't find anywhere. I went to like Walmart, Myers, every single store I could think of. My dad's like, go to a lighter shop. And I'm like, if I go to the lighter shop, I'm buying cigars. I'm going to start smoking. I actually thought about doing that. Just trying. But they think of butane. I, 
There's different nozzles, but, oh yeah, not the bottom here. There is a little flame adjuster where you can make your flame bigger, smaller. I, I just keep it in the center, that little dial there. You can't see it. But yeah, so, let's try not to blow ourselves up. This, it says danger. Should we flame up the contents under pressure? And it always says, like, using a well-ventilated area. I mean, if I blow up on camera, it'll be funnier, so. But yeah, you have your little fuel port down there. And all you do, let's see if this one will fit, actually. Okay, that looks like the universal fit. You basically just take it, you press down, and a couple seconds, you know, it'll fill up. I don't know if you can actually see the level in here, though, because it's kind of a milky white, but we'll see. Hold your breath. Me? Maybe. Can't smell the butane. Let's see here. Let's get it. Where do I have a light on me? <laughs> I got I got a million lights. When I went out yesterday, I had so many flashlights. Maybe. Let's try a little bit more. Here, look. There we go. Got cold. Before we light it, we're going to let this dissipate. <laughs> Get high off it. I'm going to dissipate a little bit. Oh, this one comes with a universal nozzle adapter, so you, like, you can adapt it to anything. So like, if you want to put it in your ear, you can. I know. This isn't a normal Mr. Man video. I'm like way too chill out here. It's because it's I'm tired. I, I worked like 10 days straight. I had a break in between, but give me some slack. All right. Wheel. Let's see. Give a second. The butane, I don't smell it. I'm just worried I'm going to light and there's going to be this giant fireball and I'm going to light on fire. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, the lighter I normally carry with me, I'll just give a comparison here. I've been carrying around the, the Elementium Pure Spark with the little X. It's an electronic lighter. I, it's cool, but sometimes it's nice to just have real fire on you. Not that the Plasmatic X isn't. It would do the same, you know, serve the same purpose, but, you know. All right. Got that sucker in there. Push it. Look at that. Pretty, uh, pretty strong flame. You can blow it out, but I mean that's to be expected. That's a normal height. Now if I, it's gonna get a little warm here. If we adjust it up to the higher setting. What I need like a little pin to put in there. Um, me, 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 me. Oh, you know what? Actually, I got one on my knife. I knew the toothpick would come into use on these Swiss Army knives. Who used the toothpick on the Swiss Army knife? Alright, let's turn this sucker all the way up. That actually isn't going to work. <laughs> it's too weak. You are weak! Mm -hmm. Alright, we're, uh, we're doing this dangerous way. We're going to use a knife. Against my better judgment, we're pushing back on this. You know what? Screw this. I just realized. I need a screwdriver. Because how stupid I am. Where is a... He's a tiny jeweler's screwdriver, though. And yeah, that'll work, actually. Yeah. All right, we'll turn it all the way up. Now let's see how big the flame gets. That, that's, that's a pretty decent size flame. And see, and when you let go of it, there's so much gas coming out, it takes a second to die down, so that's kind of a scary flame. Now if we turn it all the way down, that won't be able to turn it down. It's going to be stuck. It's going to be stuck on maximum forever. Turn it all the way down. No gas. It will even come out. So I guess that's, that's a sa it's a child safety feature. I hate when stuff has that. It's child safety. Like there's a parental, parental, parental level on uh, the PlayStation. What's that even for? I bought it. I got M-rated games. There's partial nudity. I thought it was partial nudity the first time I saw nudity in, in games. I was like, what's partial nudity? The characters are just crazy? No. No, it's not that they're crazy. It's you can't read. Dumb, stupid kid. Medium's the best. At least I think it is. It's it's an all-around little safety fuel, you know. Um, the other thing that's really nice about the jet flame over a soft flame lighter, and this is not a personal thing with me. It's getting a little warm. It does get a little warm. I haven't kept it on for an extended period of time, but you know, this is because I'm a coward. I don't I don't want it to blow up. But the nice thing about the jet flame lighter, you push down on your actuation button here. And it's on. You let go, it's off. You drop the lighter, it's instantly turning off. 
unless you have a send the maximum flame, but it'll die down really quick. A soft flame lighter, like a Zippo, you spark it. The only way to extinguish that is either to blow it or close the lid. So if you drop it, if you're doing Zippo tricks, it's like, look at me, mom and dad, I can do it. Oh, I dropped it behind my bed. Our house is up. Well, I hope home insurance covers that. You know, that's uh, not too fun. I'm not, I'm not too keen on burning my house down right now. I mean, my house, it's my dad's. So, yeah, he wouldn't like that. But that's the other thing about it is the safety. Um, that's and that's also the nice thing about the... I never used, like, shirt pockets. And when I started wearing this shirt, I, start, I just started throwing all this crud in my pockets. The pure spark, you know, you let go of a button, it just turns off instantly. So, I prefer that. You know, that you can't say, oh, use it as a candle in a zombie survival thing. If you have to, like, you know, weld steel together and you're using the flame, it's like, I don't know, whatever. I, I just prefer it. You know, it's, it's a personal preference. You know, same reason why people, like, dudes like dudes. They're gay. It's a preference. Anyway. That's that, my review of it. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, it came fueled up, so I've used it quite a bit. This zipper kind of looks a little marred up, but it gives a character. Um, but yeah, I haven't had really any issues with it that I can see. It hasn't leaked or anything. Um, it hasn't blown up in my pocket, so, you know, I'll, I'm going to carry it around a little bit now, and uh, actually, I'm going to train it off my lighter, because I fueled it up. I was just waiting to uh, make the video so I could fuel it up, because I wanted to fuel it up on camera, because I didn't know if I would blow up or not. It would make a good YouTube video if I did blow up. It's my update file installed yet. Maybe. Come on, turn on screen. There we go. Ready to install. Wait. All right, well, it's installed. Good. Whoop. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna play a little bit of Evil Pin Two. Probably gonna eat first so I don't pass out. But you have a good day. I'll see you later. Boys.